Hello everybody, Chris Prescott here with Master CDP Studios, coming at you live with another tutorial inside Studio One. And inside today's tutorial, we are going to mix down, and I'm going to show you how to mix down your songs. Once you've completed the songs, you finished recording it, finished mixing it, it's ready, it's good to go for mastering, whether you're going to master it yourself in the project page inside Studio One, or if you're going to send it off to someone else to master it for you. I'm going to show you how to mix down your entire song. I'm going to do that really quick here. All I did was recorded a uh, just a single track just just for the video for the tutorial sake uh, just to make it fast and quick here. So, we're going to pretend though, you know, let's just say this right here is your complete song. You have like a 3-minute song, you have all your instruments recorded, all your all your MIDI tracks, your audio tracks, whatever it may be. And you've mixed it it's already good to go all you need to do is mix it down so you have your wave file for the project page or if you're sending it out to somebody to master it for you okay so there's a few ways you can do this so we'll start by hitting the song tab right up here you're gonna go to export mix down now when you're on this window or when you're in this window I should say one thing you're gonna want to do if you don't mind like I don't mind it going to the project folder into the mix down so what you're gonna do is once it's finished mixing down it's gonna save the file for you and if you don't specify where you want it to go it's gonna automatically save it in the mix down folder that's in your project folder of that project of that song so you know pretend this is a uh, a YouTube track I'm recording I'm recording it for my friends YouTube tra uh, YouTube channel so I would title it, you know whatever the title of the song is gonna be but right here it shows the date and it's going to create a folder of everything for that file of of that project and in this uh, project folder you're going to have a mix down folder and that's where your mixes are going to be saved when you mix them down okay so you could either have it saved to another folder maybe you have a folder outside of the project folder that has nothing but the mixes your final mixes if that's what you want to do you can do that you can create your own folders and then have it uh, specified where you want the mix down to save but you just got to remember if you're gonna do that you click this little icon right here and then you you know maybe you want to have it go to the let's see new mix down maybe you want it to go there instead so I'm gonna select that folder so it's gonna it's gonna save there you can see it says right there new mix down with today's date and next you can select different formats of you know the different files that you want to save it or how you want it to mix it down we're just going to keep it at wave file 16 bit 44 1 and then for the range so where this comes in handy let me close out of this really quick so let's say you have a three minute song and you want to export what's within that loop uh, the loop section the loop range so all you're going to do is you're going to drag it out for however long that song is. But, you know, since I recorded like a 45 second part here, we're going to keep it here. And if uh, if you choose that option, when you go to the mix down, if you do between loop, it's going to mix down everything that's in between. So that's useful. Like, let's say, you know, let's say I only wanted to mix down this much for some reason. So if I did that, it's going to export what's in between that loop and that's it. Or... If you want to do it another way this also comes in handy so what, what you're gonna do right here this open marker track if you can see my mouse cursor right there you're gonna select that and you're gonna set the markers so for the start of song you're gonna put the start marker at the beginning and then wherever the song ends you'll put it at the end of that song maybe a little bit after the end of the song the final note or whatever it may be and you can select that range as well so you'll put between song start and end marker so we're gonna leave it at that so once you have all this set up however you want it to go all you're gonna do is hit OK that simple I actually didn't save it in the folder Jesus okay so it saved outside it's it's still saved in the mix down folder it just didn't save inside the folder I created I did something wrong there my fault right there but now once you have that mixed down all you're gonna do is go to the file the folder that you have that mix saved in you're gonna drag it 
there you go so as you can see I already have a few examples here because another way to do it is by simply adding it to a project so you can see that project I had open has today's date or I can create a new one so we'll do that for this tutorial just to show you so let's pretend I didn't mix it down but maybe I want to mix it down and have it automatically open a new project on its own so I can start mastering it in its own project page so we're gonna do new project all right and that's gonna mix it down and it's automatically gonna be in that project folder or project page once it's done so you can see it's gonna mix it down so that's all you got to do that's all you got to do to mix down your final mix once you have it recorded and sounding exactly how you want it to sound before it gets into the mastering process the mastering stage that's all you do that simple and as you can see we created a new project for that one and there you have it and now you're ready to master it if you're going to do so yourself so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video if it was useful for you if you found it educational and informative let me know in the uh, comment section there. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel because I plan on doing more of these tutorials inside Studio One as well as live streams of Destiny 2 and now the new game that I'm playing, Fortnite Battle Royale. Very fun game. I already have a live or uh, a uh, video of a live stream on my channel of that game. So you should check that out if you're into video games and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do more of these tutorials. It seems like this is... Uh, very popular amongst my subscribers. I seem to be getting subscribers because of these videos. And I appreciate you, Personas, for always uh, retweeting my videos, my tutorial videos, and exposing those out there uh, to all the all the fan base of uh, Personas, as well as home studio trainers. Johnny Gibb, thank you very much as well. You've uh, shared a few of my videos to your fan base, to your subscriber base, I should say. So I appreciate that to everyone that's been helping out and sharing these videos. And I appreciate you that subscribe and find these informational. So once again, this is Chris with Master CDP Studios. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Stick around for more.